semester and it has been a morning <laughs> so I'm at externship right now as you can see um, I got here much later than I usually do it is 10 o'clock I usually get here a little bit after 9 thankfully I don't have a 9 a.m. patient and thankfully today I also don't have a 10 a.m. patient so it worked out but train was just so late today um, but thankfully I still had some time so it wasn't like too much of an inconvenience but standing in the cold waiting for the train for 40 minutes is a pain in the ass but yeah like i said today is the first day of the new semester of spring semester um it's kind of just like an ordinary day for me because since i got back from my trip to visit family i've been continuing to see patients so i've been coming to my action trip every monday regardless um so today is just an ordinary Monday for me, but it's officially the first day of the new semester. Um, also, I apologize. Sorry, I just saw an email come in. Um, I apologize if I sound weird. Uh, I lost my voice last week for like four days. Um, and during that time, I didn't feel sick at all. But when my voice finally started coming back over this past weekend, yesterday in particular, I was just like hit with like a crap ton of, like I'm so congested right now. My nose and my sinuses are just, in, uh, they don't even hurt. It's just like an annoying sensation of like, I know they're filled with stuff that wants to come out. <laughs> Um, so I made tea when I got to work. Um, see, I'm getting like all the welcome to spring semester emails. Um, so I'm going to drink this tea. Hopefully I feel better because I don't feel like sick sick. It's literally just like all up in here. Um, physically, I feel fine. Mentally, I feel okay. It's just right in here. It's just stuffed and it probably doesn't help that it was freezing this weekend and i went out on saturday <laughs> and it was like 20 something degrees outside but the feel like temperature was like nine <laughs> um <clears throat> so chances are i'm probably getting sick in the first week of the semester which is not a great way to start off but Action feeling. Okay, someone got it. <laughs> I don't know who was buzzing the floor, but that shouldn't be happening. Um, anyway, I'm going to drink my tea, eat my breakfast. Hopefully, my sinuses clear up before my first patient gets here um, so that I don't sound like this. <laughs> and then I have supervision, and then I will probably be back when I go home <laughs> um so I will see you then just to give voice to my uh, anxiety here um we talk about well this is in the context of years of some kind of attunement and I'm thinking about an analogy with trauma some of the most profound traumas are set against the backdrop of years of at least a sense of attunement 
Um, and so it seems like, yeah, the risks are so high, and then how do you actually, technically, how do you act upon this? Um, or do you just wait for some kind of um, inspiration which can't be uh, articulated fully? Um, I mean, she's someone who believes in opacity and that that actually invites the patient to sort of have these, these shattering experiences with you. But I think Avi is much more concerned with what do we do when this happens? Not how do we make it happen and how do we contain it and shut it down, but like how do we stay with this sort of these intense moments that come up in treatment? I'm mentally I'm done for the day. Um, I still have one more patient to see. So <laughs> I'm home, obviously. Um, and I just had didactics for my externship. Um, I wish I could have recorded more, but people started talking about patients. So I had to cut my recording short. But it's pretty interesting. We were talking about, you know, talking about with patients and what it means and when it comes up and what does it invoke and blah, 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 that good stuff. Um, it was a very interesting conversation, but I was struggling to stay focused because I have just been sneezing nonstop, like all day. Like, it's not just like, I don't just sneeze and then that's it. And you know how sometimes people sneeze like twice, maybe three times, no, like I'm having like full on sneezing fits. <laughs> Like, I will sneeze once, and then I will sneeze, like, six or seven more times, and I don't know what is going on up here. Um, but I'm just feeling more and more congested as the day goes on. <laughs> Breathing through my nose is just not a thing right now. Um, and I'm just having, like, these sneeze attacks, and it's annoying because I can feel them coming before they happen. <laughs> And then I'm just sitting there with like this weird look on my face for like 10 seconds. Let me actually talk about how my day's been so far. Um, so I saw my patient at work and then... <laughs> emails. Um, emails that I don't want to be getting right now. It's the first day of the semester and it's like everyone's like, all right, we can start blowing up people's inboxes again. Um, so yeah, I saw my patient at work, um, and then I had supervision, then I came home, there was another train delay, I have like a connection that I have to make, and so I missed my first connection, and so I had to wait for the other one, um, so I got home a little bit later than I usually do, which means I was a little bit late for didactics, but I still joined, and now I have a little bit over an hour before I see my last patient of the day, um, who very, very, very specifically requested 5 p.m. sessions when they initially said that they were available in the morning. And I just couldn't say no. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have my 5 p.m. patient and then uh i'm pretty much i'm gonna be done for the day um i do have to make dinner tonight because i didn't cook last night i usually cook on sundays for the entire week but was not feeling it last night so i have to cook tonight um but other than that yeah i am i am done for the day uh oh wait yeah, i'll do it tomorrow <laughs> um so yeah i'm I'm pretty much done for the day. After I see my patient, I will probably cook, eat, shower, and then go to bed. Um, one of the beautiful things about it being the first week of classes is that there are no readings to do yet. And so I have a little extra free time. Um, so I will be using that free time to try to get rid of this and sleep. So yeah, that's it for Monday. Mondays are pretty boring. All of my days are boring, but Mondays in particular are kind of just like, I go to work and that's it. Um, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Good morning. I feel like my face in the mornings are like a jump scare. 
So I apologize for every time you gotta see this, mainly my dark circles that just refuse to go away at this point. Um, it's Tuesday, and as you can hear, I'm still very congested. <laughs> Um, and my sneezing fits are still happening. And Tuesdays would typically be the day that I go to my class at ITA. However, the schedule for that has changed this semester. And so I no longer have to be there from 9 a.m. until like, like it's not an all day thing anymore. Um, it's now just like the afternoon portion. Um, but I am very strongly considering staying home given how I sound right now. Um, I think the reason this probably hasn't gone away yet, I was thinking last night, the reason this probably hasn't gone away yet is because I have to keep going out into the cold weather. Um, cause it's been like 32 and below for the past like six days now. Um, and I was out all weekend. <laughs> I was out all weekend. I had to go out in the cold on Thursday. It snowed Friday. I went out in the cold on Saturday. I went to work yesterday. Like, I just keep having to go out into the cold. And I feel like that's why the congestion hasn't cleared up yet. Um, because like I said, other than that, like other than what's going on up here, I feel perfectly fine. I don't have like any other flu or cold symptoms. My body feels fine. You know, no headache, no sore throat, no nothing. It's just this. <laughs> and it's so irritating. I was like suffering through my sessions yesterday because the entire time my patients were talking, I was just trying so hard not to sneeze in front of them. And so given that it is currently like I want to say like in the 30s outside and I don't think it's supposed to go higher than like 40 today and it's windy so the wind chill is probably going to make it feel colder than that I think I might stay home I think I should stay home and just be in a warm space so that hopefully my sinuses can clear up and I won't sound like this for the rest of the week because this is disgusting this is absolutely disgusting sounding um, I keep blowing my nose <laughs> and it just, I'm, I'm over it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how I feel in a few hours. I have, what time is it? It's like 8.45 right now. I have a meeting at 10 and then I have case conference for my externship at 11. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is drink some coffee. Well, probably make some toast or something for breakfast. Try to make myself look presentable for these meetings. And then around like 12.30ish, I'll gauge how I'm feeling and make the final decision on whether or not I'm staying home. That's, that's the plan for now. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> sitting in my meetings and was just I've only had one sneeze attack or two today um but 
the, the congestion is just, it's too much. Anytime I try to speak in my meetings, I, it feels like I'm trying to speak through a, just a wall of mud. Um, like it, it's taking so much energy to talk right now. Um, and because of that, I've just decided that going to campus is just too much right now. Going back out into the cold, it's also, it, it's been raining on and off for like the past hour. Um, so I think it's just best. I just don't go into that weather right now, given how I sound. Um, so I'm just gonna stay home. I already emailed the professor and told them that I just, I just gotta stay home today. I'm so sorry. I know it's the first class of the semester, but I, I need to make sure that I'm okay. Um, and plus I'm just a TA first class of the semester. I don't really think I'm going to be needed. Um, this is the same class that I TA'd last semester, by the way, the first year practicum. So it's not like it's like a brand new class that like missing this first class is going to be a big deal. Um, I already know everyone, everyone already knows me. So we're good. Um, so yeah, I'm staying home, which is nice because it gives me more time to do what I need to do. Um, so after my 10 o'clock meeting, my 10 o'clock meeting was actually with um, the new group supervisor for the first year practicum. They got a new group supervisor this semester. Um, and so we were just going over like what my role has been so far, how she can support me, how I can support her as we start this new semester together. And then I had my 11 o'clock case conference for my externship. Um, that was, you know, same old, same old. Um, but then afterwards I had like a lot of emails to answer. So I've just, I just answered all the emails that have been sitting in my inbox for the past like two days. Um, but now I'm going to eat lunch and then probably do some sort of work. There's always work to be done. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna work on. I just gotta kinda go through my to-do list and see what feels the most pressing or um, you know, most immediate need to focus on. I will be back a little bit later with an update. I also have to cook. I ended up not cooking last night. <laughs> Um, after I got out of my session, my 5 p.m. session, I was just not, I was not here for it. That session was exhausting. Um, like we, we went 20 minutes over time. Um, like it was, it was really hard to reel my patient in last night. And we went 20 minutes over time. And by the end of it, by the time we hung up, I was exhausted. Um, so cooking did not happen last night. I had a bowl of cereal for dinner. <laughs> so I also have to cook today. Um, so actually that, that might actually be what I end up doing after I eat lunch. I'm going to eat lunch, cook my dinner so I can get it out of the way. So I have no more excuses. And then I'm going to come back to my desk and do whatever work I feel I need to work on. Um, so yeah, that's... That's that. I almost forgot to come back for the night. Not gonna lie, I took a nap earlier. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. But I did cook and I did get some work done. Um, a few people in my lab, including me, um, have decided to collaborate on a paper that we're hoping to get submitted to a journal by the end of the semester. Um, using some data that my uh, advisor collected for a completely different paper that she was working on. Um, but she has a lot of leftover data and she's been like dying for someone in the lab to use it for something. Um, and so another lab mate of mine uh, took it upon herself to look into some of that data play around with some numbers, see what she could find. Um, and she found some interesting results. And so she and I and two other people, is it two? Let me double check. Yes, she and I and two other people in the lab have decided to write up a paper. Um, and she also submitted an abstract to the APA conference um, that's happening in August 
I believe it's happening in August. Um, so that's exciting. So what I was doing was I was just um, looking through some of the documents that she has put together. Um, we are hoping to start the writing process within the next week or so. Um, <clears throat> as you can hear, my voice is still, I don't know what's going on. Um, good news, I think staying home today was the right decision. Um, I am still really congested, but it's much better than it was this morning. Um, that could also be because I just took a shower. Let's hope I'm actually like starting to clear up and not just feeling clear because I took a really hot shower, which usually helps my sinuses a little bit. Um, but I'm really hoping that this is mostly gone by tomorrow um, because I actually have class tomorrow and I, I have to go. I can't, I can't stay home again. <laughs> can't stay home again no matter how much I want to um so I'm really hoping that this is mostly cleared up by tomorrow so yeah that's that's what I did with the rest of my day tomorrow I have an appointment in the morning um that I have to go to and then I pretty much have the rest of the day free until I have to go to class and my class isn't until six um fucking miserable <laughs> um so so yeah tomorrow's probably gonna be a work day um so I will call it a night here and I will see you tomorrow it is so gloomy outside and I have to go out in that very soon. Hey y'all, <laughs> uh -huh. it's Wednesday. I had an appointment this morning that I already went to. I got my car washed afterwards because my car looked absolutely disgusting because of the snow that happened this past weekend. And then I just came home, did some interview prep. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but have I mentioned it actually? If I haven't, I'm mentioning it now. Um, it's externship application slash interview slash match season. Um, and I have that going on right now. And so I am prepping for interviews. That's happening for the next couple of weeks, next few weeks. Um, and then match is happening after that. So I'm like vlogging this entire match process because I didn't really have a full match process experience last year. If you don't know why, I made a video last year about my match experience um, and I will link it somewhere above. And in that video, I talk about why I didn't have a full match experience, but this year I will. Um, and so I decided I'm gonna vlog that whole experience for y'all and talk about it. And so that vlog will be coming out whatever weekend is after match day. So I won't be talking about it too much here, but yes, I've been prepping for interviews. I'm also so sorry if you hear that noise. Um, I'm standing by my window because this is the only natural light source available to me right now. Um, I don't want to turn my overhead lights on because the shadow that that's gonna make on my face is gonna make me look absolutely horrendous. So standing by the window means y'all have to hear whatever construction is happening outside right now. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have class tonight um, at 6 p.m. 6 to 8 because like an every semester thing they haven't learned that no one actually enjoys or likes having 6 p.m classes but no one seems to care um but yes i have clinical externship seminar tonight um and we are actually meeting i've already explained this many many times before but in my program for clinical externship seminar the cohort is split in half between two different sections two different professors and we switch professors after one semester so the professor i had last semester is professor that the other section will have this semester and vice versa except that last semester <laughs> the professor that the other section had was let go for just 
reasons. Um, old age, basically. She, she's getting really old. <laughs> that tends to happen when professors get old and don't want to let go of their job because they love it that much, but it starts to show in their work that maybe they shouldn't be teaching anymore. Um, that's what happened, basically. And so they uh, let go of that professor and hired a new professor. And so tonight, we're actually meeting as one big group instead of our two separate sections because we all have to meet this new professor. Before that though, I'm actually going to be meeting up with a few folks from, <laughs> Katie just texted me, from my cohort to just kind of get together and just chill before, you know, things get crazy. Um, so that should be fun. I actually have to leave in a little bit. Um, and I'm not looking forward to going outside. You know when you walk outside and it's raining, but it's not really raining? Like it's just kind of like a, a mist in the air and you feel the really, really tiny water droplets on your face, but it's not actually raining. That's what's happening outside right now. I hate that kind of weather. I don't mind when it's cloudy, but I hate when it's cloudy and misty outside. Cause I got makeup on, like, I got makeup on. I don't, I don't want to be out there in that, but I have to go. I already agreed to go, um, so we're gonna go. Oh, I don't know if you can hear, but I sound and feel about 50% better than I did yesterday. Um, my sinuses feel a little bit clearer. I haven't had any sneezing fits today so far. Um, it no longer feels like I'm talking through mud. It kind of just now feels like I'm speaking with a stuffy nose a little bit. Bonus is that I feel better enough to brave whatever weather is happening outside. Um, I also didn't really have a choice because I have to go to class, but that's what today is looking like. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with the rest of my day. Good morning. It's Thursday. It is another very, very, very gloomy, very cloudy, very rainy day outside. And once again, I have class today. So I forgot to come back last night. I apologize for that. By the time I got home from class, I got home, I wanna say around nine. Um, and I was on the phone with my mom. And by the time I got off the phone with her, mom, if you're watching this, you are the reason I did not come back to finish yesterday's day in my vlog. <laughs> um, but by the time I got off the phone with my mom, I was ready to get ready for bed. I was tired. But to tell you a little bit about yesterday, I <clears throat> uh, went to go meet up with some folks from my cohort before class. We just met up for some drinks and light bites. Yes, we had drinks before class. Do not judge us. Um, <laughs> And we just like caught up. I hadn't seen most of them since before winter break. Um, so yeah, we just talked, got caught up, talked about externship stuff, of course, because that's just top of mind for all of us right now. Um, and then we went to class and I really, really, really wanted to record in class. Um, however, I ended up sitting directly across from, we were sitting at like a, a square table um, and I ended up sitting directly across from the new professor and it felt kind of weird to just whip out my phone and start recording <laughs> um, without like having asked for permission to do so. Um, so I didn't, but we met him, he introduced himself, he introduced himself for a very long time. <laughs> um, but he seems cool so far, he seems really capable is the word I would use at the point, at this current point. Um, and I am looking forward to the rest of the semester in the class. I am excited for this semester of this class in particular. So uh, this class is Clinical Externship Seminar, um, which typically in years past, including last semester, has been the class in which we just kind of talk about our patients that we see on our respective externships and we write up case reports and present our cases and blah, 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 blah all of that good clinical stuff. Um, this semester, the class is actually changing a bit um, because in the second semester of the third year in our program, it goes from being just a regular uh, seminar class to being 
a supervision and consultation class. And basically what happens is uh, we as third year students get paired up with uh, the first year students and we serve as like peer supervisors for them. Like we take on the role of being a supervisor in a supervision type of relationship. Um, so we like talk with them about a case. They show us video recordings of their sessions. We, and we, we give them supervision basically. And I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this class since I found out about it in my first year when I was paired up with my third year supervisor. Um, I've been, I've been really excited for this, for this semester, for this class particularly. Um, so that's what this semester is gonna be in that class. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, that was class. And then I, like I said, afterwards I came home, I was on the phone with my mom, whatever. Um, this morning, oh my God, my arm's getting tired. Um, this morning, I only have one patient to see today. My other patients have canceled. Um, I'm not mad at it, honestly. Um, so I only have one patient to see and then I have class at four and the class that I have today is psychology of sexuality. Um, and I'm not thrilled about having to leave my house to go take a class right after seeing patients. Um, but I needed to take an elective. This was the only elective that would fit into my schedule. Not that it's like not an interesting class, right? Like I, I am interested in the topic and like I want to learn um, <laughs> the content and topic of this class. Um, I'm just not happy with the timing of it. But yeah, that's, that's what's on the schedule today. Um, I also just checked my email. I walked away from my computer to go like do dishes and stuff for like 30 minutes. Um, don't ask me why it took 30 minutes for me to do dishes. But yeah, I walked away from my computer to do dishes for like 30 minutes and I uh, just got bombarded with emails in that time period. So I now have to like go through all of those and make sure it's nothing important. Um, I really hate when I like clear my inbox and then like immediately it gets flooded again. It's the most annoying thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's the agenda for today. Um, I'm really tired today, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't want to do anything. Um, I have a slight headache. I've had a slight headache since I woke up. That doesn't seem to be going away. I'm just, I'm not feeling it today. Um, not feeling it at all. class and I'm so hungry and I need to eat dinner so I'm gonna try to make this quick <laughs> uh, so the class psych of sexuality seems like it's gonna be pretty interesting basically all we did today was just a very in-depth review of the syllabus because even though she put a syllabus together and has some reading she wants to make sure that or she wanted to make sure that we were covering topics that were interesting to us so we literally went through the syllabus week by week topic by topic and she asked us what our thoughts were on the topics that she had in mind what topics we would prefer to cover when we would want to cover them blah blah blah, blah. um so we we basically like reworked the syllabus together today which is interesting that's never happened before in a class that i've taken um i didn't mind it <laughs> so with that 
we are going to be covering some very interesting topics this semester that I'm very excited to cover, um, which makes this class just a little less irritating. But yeah, before I went to class, I just, I did some administrative work on dissertation materials, um, reorganizing some things, reworking my timeline, my plan, et cetera, et cetera. Um, <clears throat> and then I had my session with my patient and then I went to campus. Um, so tomorrow I have externship interviews and I'm actually not gonna be recording tomorrow for this vlog because like I said, I'm also recording an externship match vlog simultaneously. Recording multiple vlogs at once should be a skill because the way <laughs> the way I've had to like pick and choose what moments I record when for which vlogs um, it requires a lot of thinking and therefore it should be a skill anyway um, so I'm not gonna record tomorrow for this vlog because it's going in a different vlog so with that being said, today is going to be the last day of the week, technically, for this vlog. Also, because on Fridays, like y'all know, I don't really have much to do on Fridays that are related to school or work. It's usually just like a work from home catch up day for me. Um, I'm also going grocery shopping tomorrow morning because I need groceries. So that's pretty much going to be it for this vlog. Um, this has been the first week of the semester. Um, pretty uneventful. Uh, my weeks will undoubtedly get more busy as the semester goes on, especially because I kind of have taken on additional projects this semester that I probably shouldn't have done. Um, and I will talk a little bit more about those at a later time. Um, but until then, that is all for now. Thank you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. I truly appreciate it. Uh, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and click that little notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. And I'll see you in my next one.